Okay, uh, I think this is video four. I'm gonna end up losing track of these videos. I'm gonna use this little triangle that I made to uh, make my darts, but I need to know where they're gonna be. And these little cutouts are going to be opposite each other on four corners. So at the apex of this cylinder, we're gonna make little marks and then opposite each other. Okay, so it should be equal four quadrants, right? That's redundant. A quadrant is, of course, four. Uh, but these four marks, four sections. And I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to put this. And right now I'm just going to draw the lines. I'm not going to cut through yet. I'm just going to make the... The lines. So a template is good, right? Because it lets you make sure that each one of these is exactly the same. Well, there's my midline there. one right here all right so now uh, we're gonna cut these okay so if you have a needle tool you can cut through if you've got if you're using a knife you can use a knife and um, I want this they're going to end up being pinched and pulled together I kind of want my I kind of want an, a little bit of an angle here. I don't like kind of like this. All right. So All right. So I'm just kind of following that line. As I already said, my clay is a little bit stiffer than I want it. It doesn't. It's not as flexible. I want. I'm going to probably get some some cracks that I'm going to have to fix, um, but it'll still give you the idea of what you're supposed to be doing with yours. Uh, and we need to score and slip, right? Score. I'm going to score this marks here. Going to make some score lines here. some slip score and slip always and this is going to tuck down in there and you're going to be like what the heck are you doing Mr. Eddie this is going to be the bottom this is going to be the bottom of the mug this is going to get turned over this is going to give it a little bit of an interesting shape it's going to have a little taper to it and that way it won't be so, um, it's not going to be just a plain old cylinder. I think if you remember, you probably made something similar to that in middle school already. All right. And uh, some of you, if you're following along, if you're not an intro and you've made a mug on the potter's wheel um, or you made a luminary or some other cylinder project, um, this is something new, right? I'm gonna score and slip all these at once. So this is just a new way, a new design. Um, it's gonna have a whole different look, all of its own. Uh, but I think you'll like, I, I like it. Um, I think you'll like it. If you don't like it, uh, you can tell me and you can complain and you can say, Mr. I didn't like that at all. And I'll say, well, too bad. That was the project. Um, 
which is pretty much what I tell you if we were in class, wouldn't I? Uh, but I think you'll like it. All right, so see these are gonna come together. All right, and that's why you want the template so that if, if all your darts were different sizes, it would not come together very well. All right, now you can see that's what we're gonna use that other slab for is to patch this hole, which I will do. We're gonna score and slip the bottom of that in a minute here too. All right, but this is gonna give this is gonna give it a little bit more interesting shape for our mug. Uh, if you made your darts too big, you're gonna it's gonna then you're gonna have like almost no flat bottom that's possible. Uh, hey, guess what? It's clay. You can start over again, right? If you make a mistake, you can start over again. It's okay. Uh, actually, the rib is kind of good. We're trying to kind of just kind of going around clean up that edge I'm just making sure I blend this together real nice okay all right we're gonna score and slip and put this uh, put a bottom on this all right um, so I am not going to uh, I'm not gonna measure and cut this first I just want to uh, trim it down a little bit. I don't need the whole big thing here. All right, that's gonna go in there. So let's score. It has a little bit of an angle, right? Because we just bent this in. So by scoring, I'm kind of also actually flattening it out so that the base will sit flatter. So, all right, so I'm just kind of really really scoring it well. I really want to increase that surface area, that tongue and grooveness. I can uh, I can do a little bit of scoring on the bottom here as well. Uh, I can go in and smooth that after, but I really need to make sure that it attaches, right? Alright, that's going to get trimmed later. 